Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And you might remember the Project Tiger when we first got it. It had the Aeroflash flashing jelly jar up on the rudder tip, and now we're replacing it with a Suntail beacon, and there we are making the new bracket and everything, and the shield so it doesn't shine too far forward. Here's our first prototype, and you notice the rivets are proud, so we're going to have to fix all of that. But ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned as we cover some more of this in some detail for you. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So it came with the flashing beacon up on the rudder and we're going to be taking it off. And for those of you who already have the red rudder caps and have the flashing beacon and socket on the ADC's bracket, we're going to be talking about because what we're going to be doing today is going to apply to you because you're not going to be able to reuse that bracket it doesn't have the footprint that you need for the sun tail and you want to have a good stable base even though it weighs 2.5 ounces and so here's some of the drawings from the adc stc paperwork for putting the jelly jar flasher and beacon up on the red rudder cap and fabricating it and being sure to put the shield and you'll see later why we have the shield in there because it is very bright and it could be distracting when you see it on the wings and let me add here that when we were balancing the rudder on the Project Tiger, yes, we had to add 13 ounces of weight to bring it into balance. And believe it or not, when you weigh the power supply for the Aeroflash, it's 12.5 ounces. So it's pretty much a push. So it's well worth the effort, we think. So once we take the jelly jar and all off and we take the rudder tip that accommodates all of that off, we're down to the rib. And here we are with the rib all clean and we're mounting the bracket. Here we are weighing the uh, suntail beacon. It weighs 2.5 ounces. And believe it or not, that's pretty much what we removed with the other stuff from the flashing beacon. We'll talk about the supply weight and how it applies later. But anyway, that's what we're going to be mounting on the tail. And again, it's a very bright thing to have on there. Now, we could have gone as an option with a sun beacon two which directly replaces the jelly jar and it fits right on the cap so you can use your same red rudder your same rudder cap you have now and you just apply that but we chose for option number one to have the sun tail beacon on a bracket under the red rudder cap and that's what we proceeded with and there it is all being assembled together and here it is being shown under the red rudder cap just as in simulation and then here we are with it all finally on the airplane and we're supplying it power from an ELT battery just to check it out but that's what it looks like and then in a little while we're going to have a comparison of it to a standard one and then as we're finishing everything Matt is torque striping now that we have the rudder back on the airplane, we have to make sure all the hardware is properly torque striped. And we have a system in our shop. You might notice that in that first picture we're pointing to, we don't have any torque stripe on that bolt. That reminds us that we have already torqued it, but we have to come back when it's all finished assembled, and then we can put the torque stripe to finish the job. And that's just a reminder. Instead of hanging a piece of paper that says, be sure to talk torque stripe this last bolt. And Project Tiger red rudder cap installed and this is with the aero leds sun tail underneath there uh, i did have to put 13 ounces of additional lead up in the front to balance it but it's balanced right in the uh slightly aft of center we have a two inch forward four inch rear balance point on it she looks pretty darn good. Comparison between a stock 125 watt incandescent uh, jelly jar beacon and the red rudder cap freshly installed on the Project Tiger with a Aero LEDs Suntail mounted up under the red rudder cap. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, placing a LED beacon under the red rudder cap in comparison to a standard flasher. We hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman. 
Well, here's Freckles, our 19-year-old cat supervisor. Hopscotch and Sweet Pea shredding a box of soap. Tarzan hunting on the back porch trying to catch a bird on the other side of the screen. Here he goes making his leap to get up there. Quite the angelic one. They are quite the activity. And little one here, we're out and start call her Squeaker because that's what she does. She squeaks instead of meows. And of course, they're the in and out kitties because either they want in or they want out.